Welcome to Resolve, DaVinci Resolve, and this is a quick tutorial on how to check your white balance and how to uh, get the correct white balance for a clip. I did a video similar to this in Premiere, so if you have watched that one uh, to do with Premiere, then you can probably apply the logic there to uh, DaVinci Resolve too. But let's take a look at this clip. You can see very clearly that the white balance is off, and to be honest, we could go down to the bottom here and just adjust our temperature on this clip and make it look a little bit more normal. Well, to me, something like maybe that. Maybe that's still a little bit cool. It's a little bit cool like that. So maybe that's about right. But how can we make sure it's right? Well, I haven't actually done a gray card in this particular shot, but I would recommend that you do gray card your shot. So you just hold a gray card in front of the camera for a couple of seconds, because then you have a reference point. But I know for a fact that if I, if I white balance off these tiles at the back here, I know that they are pretty much gray and I always get a pretty good result. It's not very professional. So I recommend in this tutorial that you use a gray card, but never mind. Right, so if I'm going to go, if, if I'm going to do this, I need to go back to the editor because this shot is full of other stuff as well. There's actually a lot of grey in this shot. There's only brown in the in the coffee. The rest of it's kind of silver and black. But uh, if I go back to my NLE, so back to the editing part of DaVinci, I now want to apply a crop on this, and I'm going to crop my shot in so it just shows me this section of tile. So I'm going to crop in on the left here, and I'm going to crop on the right. And I'm going to crop at the bottom and bring that up so that all I have in the shot, is that about, is that enough? Is this little tiny clip here. And yes, it's very small, but that doesn't really matter because all that will do is give you a finer point in your scope. So let's go back to our color section and we can see that all we have here now in our waveform is, we have a slight, it's not a perfect perfectly sort of lit gray, but it's good enough for what we're trying to do. So if we open up our scopes uh, by expanding them out here, they sort of sit in the corner quite nicely, but we can expand out the scopes here and take a look at our vector scope. And now in our vector scope, we want to, in fact, I need the settings for the vector scope, don't I? Where are the settings? So yeah, vector scope, vector scope settings here. I'm going to do a zoom on it so that I can get it spot on. And you can change the, you know, you can change the brightness to get this how you, how you kind of want it, but something like that would be fine. And now, if I go to my white balance and I just this clip, I just reset this uh, node. We see that our main point here is way off over here. But of course, grey needs to be in the center of a vector scope. Grey has no color value, and a vector scope shows color value. So. If you have nothing, we do have color value here. We have an orangey, yellow, browny color value, and that's push it, pushing off in this direction as you'd expect. It's not way off skin tone, actually, which is this line here. So we want this to be dead center. So if we pick out, now we've picked out gray in here, well, now we've picked out just a gray section, which of course would be your gray card, not a tile on the wall. You can adjust your temperature and tint accordingly and your color wheels, whatever you want really. You can adjust it so that you move it in like that. And you can see that it just skates across the center there like that. So maybe our tint is slightly off as well, which we can adjust. Uh, I think that's a fairly, it's gonna be a fairly minor uh, change. Where was our tint? Is it that's in the second section? Oh, sorry, it's right next to it. What am I doing? And we can see here that if we adjust our tint, that moves it up and down a bit like this. But of course we could do this in our color wheels. I'm just using the two main uh, main controls here for this and maybe adjust a little, little bit more over that way and push our tint up to get this. But we're just trying to get this dead center really. I mean, you don't, once we're at this, we're really dealing in minuscule amounts once we're at this point. Right, so there we go. We've zoomed in twice on our vector scope. So a normal vector scope wouldn't even show this amount of detail. We can see that our dot is absolutely dead center. Perfect. So now if I close this out um, and I go back, I'm just going to open up my waveform in here again. And I go back to my editor and I reset the crop, all the cropping elements. We now have a clip that to me, 
looks pretty much right. We had uh, some morning sun coming in here on this side of the clip. This was in shadow and uh, was a would that to me looks perfect. It's a really nice white balance and we can tell actually from well my skin's overexposed there actually but um but you can still see that it's not way off what it should look like my nice bitten fingers as well in fact i won't even bother showing you that okay so there we are it's a it's a nice sort of double check if anything uh but yeah if you've done a gray card it will be perfect and it will be much much better but it's a really nice double check to be able to do if you're unsure, or you're just not quite sure how the scene looked, or you're not quite sure what, what really is grey, crop out the bit you want, look at the vector scope, get it dead centre, open the crop back up, done. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe. Or just give me a thumbs up or something like that. I don't know. Interact in some way, because I think YouTube likes that, doesn't it? So, uh, all good. Right. Bye for now.